Hey, hello everyone. Uh, congratulations. We're in Module 7, uh, the last module of the course. Um, I know that it's been just seven weeks, but I know it's been it's an intense summer. Um, there's a lot that we pack in uh, to this summer course, and uh, I really hope that we've arrived at this place uh, feeling like we can really begin to take some new skills back to our classrooms uh, or whatever role that we're playing for this, this coming fall. Um, so as, as the last module of the course, this is kind of a chance to really um, kind of look back and try to begin to pull some threads together uh, to kind of talk about where we've been and kind of why we've been there as well. And so uh, uh, in this final module, we're going to talk just a little bit about kind of the logic of the course. You know, why did we um, have developed the modules in a particular way? And so we started this course uh, in week one, really beginning to look at really doing some reflection on ourselves. And uh, for many of you, that may have seemed kind of like an odd experience to actually kind of think about what is your own personal philosophy around issues of management. Uh, but we did that for a very real reason, because what we know and what we learn, as we always do, is that there's actually a dramatic continuum uh, among the teachers and uh, professionals in our class. Uh, on one side, we have people who are really, really strongly teacher-centered. Um, and oftentimes those teachers uh, jokingly will say that teachers, that the kids say that I mean, you know, because they have tons of structure, tons of direction. Um, they're on top of everything. They have very explicit rules, routines, procedures. Uh, they control a lot of that information. On the other side, we have people who are very, very student-centered, uh, who are much less structured, um, who probably allow more student voice, uh, those teachers oftentimes will say things like, I really begin the year strong. I teach the rules, teach the routines, so we get off to a good start. But one of the problems that I'm having is that I don't tend to, to I'm not consistent. So I'm not continuing to reteach those rules as time goes by. Um, and that's a very common pattern. We kind of call that, we, we call that management drift, meaning that we're really good, we are explicit about the rules, routines, and procedures, we teach them, we tell students why they're important, we practice them um, the first week or two of school, but then as time goes by, um, there are some breaches in behavior, we kind of let things go, there are certain kids who maybe are struggling, so we kind of turn our eyes and we don't, and so what happens is we begin to kind of drift from that mission, so all of a sudden the boundaries begin to open up. And so a lot of you um, in that first week really talked about your goal of being more consistent over time. And so we have kind of these two, these are, those are the two probably most common camps, is that very teacher authoritative, very strong authoritative uh, focus versus very student-centered. And of course, probably what we're shooting for is somewhere in between, because the people who, uh, the teachers who are very um, strongly in charge of their classrooms, they're goals for this course are really to become much more democratic. So they're doing things like they want to have more student meetings. They want to develop a social contract with their students and to develop a more democratic community because they know they're controlling things. If they, if you know that the goal of your a good management program is to help students become more self-disciplined self -disciplined and in self-control, then it makes sense that our students are involved more. And so right from the very beginning, I think our teachers who are more, um, uh, who have, have more authority in their classrooms realize that and they begin to see, you know what, I've got to have the students involved because ultimately the goal is not, it's not teacher control, it's self-control and I want to be able to transfer that. And so when students have more ownership and voice, that's a way uh, to, build, uh, to, to build more uh, self-control and self-regulation in our students. The goal is to have more independent, self-regulated, self-determined, uh, students and so we've got to transfer some of that control so they begin to take ownership um, of some of those rules and routines in, in, in the class so again there's this wide wide continuum 